Hello, YouTube. Wait a minute, wrong bike. Is that a hamburger? Hello, YouTube. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've been on here. And I don't know where time goes. I mean, you blink, a week is gone. But, but anyways, I just thought I'd make this video in case you're interested in buying or building one of these bikes. Maybe you'd like to see how it does over time, you know, once they get some miles on it. You know, how, how's the reliability? You know, how, how's the performance? How's the maintenance? Um, now, I don't have a whole lot of miles on here. I think I got about 3,600. That's about 5,900 kilometers for our brothers and sisters across the pond. Um, now, I think that's, you know, that's not a lot of miles, but I think it's enough to kind of see how this bike's going to do. Uh, and then I'm going to give you an update on the uh, Onyx Fire that I, I talked about. I'll uh, put a link to that video in the description in case you're interested, in case you're curious. All right, let's get into this. Okay, let's talk about maintenance. That's the most boring part anyway. Let's get that out of the way. Um, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot of maintenance on this bike. Uh, I've gone through about four sets of these brake pads at about 12 bucks a piece. Um, you can see this back tire is completely gone down to the wear bars, uh, beyond the wear bars actually. That, that was, that's a soft compound tire and it, they're inexpensive. They're about 35 bucks anyway. Um, chain and sprocket, it's just like new really i don't think i've even ever lubed it it just goes to show you how much you actually you know pedal this bike oh this is what happens by the way if you get lazy and you don't take this tensioner off and try to pull your back wheel off um the other thing i'm wondering about is the freewheel because this thing's been freewheeling pretty much the whole time and at high speed so i i think i'm just going to throw the stock one back on there for now but that, that's pretty much it, maintenance-wise. I can't think of really anything else. So as far as reliability and, and damage, I'll just lump all that together. Um, the first thing that happened was a balance wire came off the battery and it shut down the bike. I think I, I just made a bad solder joint on that. It was a matter of pulling the battery, um, <laughs> which by the way is, is, is like two hours of bad words and throwing things. I mean, it's just a pain. It, it's 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 because i put the controller and battery in together and there's just there's just no room in there to in there to work on it um it's a pain but once once i you know re-soldered that wire on re-shrink wrapped the battery i, I, didn't, I haven't had any problems since um and the other thing that happened uh this weld broke back here i ended up from jumping it smashing the the this bracket into the swing arm and I kind of bent it back and had it welded. That's been holding up pretty good. Haven't had any other problems with that. Um, one, oh, one of the main things, and this might not be a main thing to you, but the seat post broke off. And man, I'm telling you guys, do not, do not buy a cheap seat post. I mean, just spend some money there. I had a cast one, I think, um, and it broke. Now, can you imagine, think about this for a minute. The seat breaks off, all right? It goes down into the wheel there and locks up the tire, but what if you went down in there at speed with no fender? I mean, that would be, that would be really, really bad. Um, so, you know, don't buy a cheap speed seat post. I think what happens is the spike's heavy, and I think from lifting, on the back of the seat lifting up the back wheel it kind of weakens that that seat post if it's a cast one like that and it just ends up snapping off so it, pl it please be aware of that because that 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 is really dangerous okay and the other thing that happened is i ended up pulling this throttle and trying to load it in the car I just just pull it broke it straight out of the housing so you got to kind of watch that these things are, are fragile and then trying to order a new one I mean, it looks pretty straightforward. It's just that when you when you try and buy things on AliExpress, Alibaba, they look the same, but they're different, man. It's just really... Anyway, I ended up getting one. It had the wrong electrical connections in it, inside of it there. It was just all different. Um, I ended up just using the housing from that one and the electrical, electrical components from mine. And, and, and it, works, it works perfectly fine like that. Um, it's a cheap throttle but i really like it because it's just it's really smooth there's no lag it's just i just i don't know there's something about that throttle i just i just really like um and then another thing that happens 
is I've snapped these valve stems off where the tire just slips around in the rim and just tears the valve stem right out of the tube. Um, I've had that done. I've had, I've, I've had that happen a couple of times. Um, now, I changed brands of tubes and I and I, I just keep the pressure up around 35 pounds and I haven't had the problem since. Um, but to cure that, a rim lock would be the way to go. I, I never did it and, and I should. Um, I really should get a rim lock. Um, then the other thing, I smashed my rim. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Um, let me just flip around here and see. Uh, maybe you might be able to see it a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. I smashed it maybe on a curb. I'm not sure. I went ahead and bent it back. It's still not exactly right, but uh, you know, I think that that is what it is. Now, what, one other issue. Now, this is not that. It's not really that big a deal, but this caliper back here is, is a pain to align for some reason. I, I don't know if it's the fact that these bolts stretch and bend and. Uh, you know here's the thing you can you know you squeeze your brake right and you tighten these up and it moves kind of no matter what you do and this rotor is so flimsy that it really it, it can't hold the caliper it's kind of going to kind of go where where it wants to so um keep an eye on that what i end up doing sometimes is i'll throw a couple of credit cards in this gap over here to hold it to stop it from moving around but yeah, it, it's it's problematic when you change the pads. The front one, for some reason, is always perfect. So I, I, I don't know I don't know why that is. Okay, so that that's about all I can think of really that's happened on this bike, which it's not a whole lot. I'm gonna say all in all, it's it's a very reliable bike. I mean, I I, I haven't really had any problems with it other than those in that in that amount of miles. So that that should give you some type of an idea. So as far as performance goes. You know, after eh, maybe 120 charge cycles, I really haven't noticed any kind of loss of power or loss of range um, at all, you know? And, and maybe that's not a whole lot of charge cycles, you know, in the grand scheme of things. And it could be because this battery, you know, at the end of the day, it's capable of over 400 amps. And I have a 300 amp BMS, but I'm only using a 150 amp controller, so. I think the battery's, you know, just barely getting a workout. So in case you're wondering on that, I haven't noticed anything yet. So we'll just we'll just have to see how how it is, you know, after some more time goes by. And about the Onyx, I'll just give you a quick recap. My son's friend, um, his Onyx caught on fire. Uh, and I was talking about Onyx customer service, and at first Onyx didn't want to do anything about it. Um, but at the, in the end, they gave him a brand new bike. I mean, they, they really, I think they went above and beyond, to be honest with you. Um, well, that bike got stolen. So, you know, it, don't ever use this term. With, with regards to your bike, your e-bike, okay? Never, never tell yourself, I'll only be a minute, okay? And leave your e-bike out there unlocked. Because it only takes a second to steal it. Um, yeah, so... I, I don't know, I, you know, things like that, I kind of, I don't know, I, I lean towards towards karma and I sometimes I say, well, you know, maybe it saved him from a serious accident, you know, maybe it wasn't meant to be, um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Now, the bike did have an air tag in it, uh, but the police, uh, they, they won't do anything. They say an air tag is not enough for a search warrant, so it's kind of, it's still up in the air right now. So anyway, that's that's the that's the update on the Onyx. All right, guys. So that'll be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it it helps you if you're thinking about building or buying one of these bikes. And uh, all right, I'll I'll see you next video.